Welcome guys and in today's video we're going to be blending colors. What do I mean by that is last week we packed just blue. Today we're going to be packing three colors and trying to blend those three together. We'll be using red, orange, and yellow. So if you guys are ready to do that, let's go. So I'm going to be using a 23 curved magnum bug pin to do this. It's just my preferred style of needles. Uh, I'll be throwing my needles out about this far for starters. I'll rotate that around. That's how far my needles are going to be out to begin with. I may go in, I may go out a little bit as I go, but that's my starting point. Also, I've already shaven the area we're going to be tattooing today. So that's all prepped and ready to go. We're just going to use the leg again this little area right here. Also, I'm running my machine at 7.5 volts today, and that may go up, that may go down, but we're gonna start with 7.5 volts. Okay, I put a little bit of A&D Vaseline, and in this case, I'm using Inkies. Not sponsored by them at all, I just like them. So nonetheless, I have a little bit of that loaded up on the back of my hand. I've got my machine set up with the needles and the needle depth and the voltage. I've got my ink set up right over here. We're gonna start with our darkest color first and we're gonna work to light. Uh, so in this case, I'll be starting with red, I'll move to orange and we'll move to yellow. The key here is you wanna pack the color where you need it, where you're gonna make your transition. I just kind of whip it out a little bit, lighter, lighten the hand up a little bit. I just want a little bit of that darker color just kind of blend down a little bit. Okay, packed all my color for that. And now I just kind of want to pepper this down. So that when I come with my next color, I can pepper it up and then continue down with my color and then repeat the process. That's it in a nutshell. So let's get to it. So we're going to start with a little bit of inkies. Like I said, if you're using A and D, Vaseline, Hustle Butter, whatever your product of choice is. I'm starting off, I'm using a damp towel. I just sprayed a little bit of water on this. The reason why I like it damp is it's easier to wipe the color off. Now, if you had a stencil, you'd wanna be careful. You'd probably wanna dry wipe. But if you already have your piece lined out, you're just filling in color, uh, a, a damp towel with just some distilled water is a great thing to use. So here we go. Okay, so I'm stretching the skin with this hand right here. I'm stretching it out like this, and then I'll even pull back sometimes with this hand. You want to get a good stretch okay so I'm filling in the in the red assuming there was an area here that I was filling in maybe a flower or something and I get to a spot where I want to um, I want to blend it out right so we got this color here I'm packing it up a little bit higher now Okay, so there's our red. Now we're gonna start peppering it down this way a little bit so we can prep to blend our next color. So here we go. Now from here, I'm just gonna kind of quickly shade down quickly. I'm moving my hand fast so less ink should be getting deposited in the skin. You see that? It's just a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna move my hand quickly still. And there we go. So now we have this deep red up here, and you can pack it even darker at the top if you really want it to ombre or whatnot. So there we have it. That is our red. I hope you can see that. Next, I'm going to clean my needles out. I don't need to get too insane with it, but I'm gonna make sure I have as much red out as possible because I'm gonna be going to a lighter color and it's gonna be orange. Okay, again, I'm cleaning these out. I'm not switching needles to for a different color. I'm just cleaning the needles out that I have. And after cleaning it out, you can see what it looks like. It still has a little bit of red there, but it's clear, or you might not be able to see that, but it's clear water coming out as I'm wiping it off on the towel. It's clean enough because I'm going to a color that is right below it in the, you know, uh, an orange. If you guys want to know how I clean my needles, I'll link a video somewhere up here. It's a real simple, quick video. It shows you how I clean my needles. Nonetheless, we're going to dip into the orange now and see how that works. 
Now I have not adjusted my needles at all. I kept them where they were at. I kept the voltage the same. No changes as of yet. So now this, I'm going to start down here, fill up my orange area and blend it up. I'm moving kind of quickly in here. Just want to mix the orange in there. And there you can start to see the blend occur. Now, once you're kind of out of that, you can slow your hand down just a little bit. Keep in mind, again, the slower your hand is moving, the more ink you're going to pack into that location. The, um, the faster your hand is, the less ink is going to get into the skin. So remember, if you want it lighter, in an area where you're blending maybe, then move your hand a little bit quicker. But I want a little bit more orange up here. So I'm going to come back in and then slow it down over here a little bit. And then white. Just kind of keep watching it. And that's pretty good. Alright, now from here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to lighten our hand up a little bit more as we go down. You can also just pack color and then pack the other color right up next to it and blend some of that color into the other bit. Or you can just kind of give yourself a little spot to blend and that's what I do sometimes. I'll just get a little light down there at the bottom where I want the blend to start. Okay, so we'll leave it there. So there you can kind of see we have our red blending into our orange and then we're going to come off the orange into some yellow and we'll get to that right now. Again, we're going to clean our needles out, we're going to dip into the yellow, and do the same thing again. A little bit of ointment down, and we'll go ahead with our yellow. Same process, kind of pack it in here. So nonetheless guys, real basic here, I just want to quickly show you how we went from a red, blended with an orange, and a little bit of yellow. It's that simple, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to blend this, and then try to blend that, and then back and forth and back and forth. Before you know it, you will overwork the skin. Because we're packing color, we're trying to be deliberate, and in spots where we want to blend it a little bit, you can move your hand faster, or when you go to put that second color in, fill it in, fill it in, and just run it higher up into the red into the darker color and they will sort of blend a bit smoother but nonetheless guys that's pretty much how you do it you can do this with any colors uh, you can blend to your heart's desire from a really dark all the way down to super light and again I left my voltage at 7.5 through the whole time my needle depth stayed the same throughout this little bit here and now I have a tattoo to remember this video so as you can see guys, it's a pretty simple process. You can spend more time in it, you can spend less time. Again, this was just a quick, you know, red, orange, yellow blend to give you the gist of how this works. Um, so don't overthink it. Put the colors next to each other and push the lighter color into the darker color. And with that darker color, maybe just go a little bit light towards the bottom so that more of the lighter color can fill in the empty space and give it a little bit more of a blended appearance. So anyhow, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the bell to get notifications when I post um, or when I go live or anything that pops up at any time, you'll get notified of it. It just makes it easier for you. Don't forget, if you wanna support the channel even more, check out the merch, links in the descriptions. By no means is it necessary, but it's there if you're interested. And until next time, guys, peace.